What I'm going to show you in this video is how to do a chevron letter or it would be like how to take chevron, the chevron pattern out of a letter or put it into a letter, however you want to say it, either or. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the letter first. So over to the left, we're going to click our text tool, okay, then click our grid. And what you want when you're doing this is you want a chunky font, like a thick font. So I'm going to go with Oharana, Oharani. I guess that's how you say it. That's I use it a lot when I do this. So we're going to select that over here to the right, okay? And then we're just going to type a, let's say a B. We'll type a B, okay? So now we have our letter there. We select it. And then we're going to drag that diagonal to make that letter big, okay? You see how the box around this letter is bigger than the letter? We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click that letter. Because if I change these dimensions right now, like it shows that this is 6.404 in height and 3.959 in width. That's not, that's the box, that's the dimensions of that box. So if I right-click it and I click Make Compound Path, Okay, the letter is actually 4.268 by 3.251. That's what we want. Okay, so we put our B here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize the Silhouette Design Studio. And we're going to go to Internet Explorer. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to import a Chevron pattern from Google. So we just type in Chevron and hit Enter. Okay, and then we're going to click the images. Okay. And then we're going to find a chevron pattern that we want. So we're going to go with the fourth one over here. Right click it. Save. No, we'll just, we'll just select it. And then we'll click view image. Then we'll right click it and we'll save image as, save picture as. And I'm going to save it, save it as chevron. And then I'm going to save it to my desktop so it's easy to find. And then click save. There, there we have our Chevron pattern. Now I'm going to close out Internet Explorer. Our Chevron pattern's there on our desktop. Now I'm going to reopen the design, the design software. Up at the top left, I'm going to click File, and I'm going to click Open. And then I, you'll see Desktop, and then we click the Chevron pattern. And then we'll click OK, and it's going to import that in there. Okay? I'm going to make this, this is really huge. So what I'm going to do zoom out. I'm going to zoom out up at the top, right in the middle. You can click the zoom out. I'm going to click that diagonal and I'm going to bring that box right in there. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom back in. So now it's where I want it. Now up at the top right, there's a little box that's yellow and blue. And it looks like it has a blue butterfly. I'm going to click that. That's our tracing tool. Okay. Now it says select tracing area. So I'm going to select that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is you have to draw a trace box around your image. And we want it to cover the whole image. So we just drag it all the way over the image. And you see those spots to where it shows the blue inside there? We don't want that because then you're going to have lines. It's going to trace all of that. And that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to click over to the right. You want to uncheck high pass. And it turns it all yellow. Then, now we're ready to trace it. We just click the trace button, and it's traced. So now we have our chevron pattern. This is the original file right here. We want to delete that, and then this is our silhouette file that's cuttable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right-click it, and we're going to cut that. Okay? Then we'll go down here to where we have our file. It says chevron. We can close that. We don't want to save changes. And then we have our B in the other page. Okay? So there's our B. Now we're going to paste our chevron right there. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to bring our B in and we want to put the B over the chevron pattern. And then we want to select the chevron pattern and we want to make that to whatever length. If you want to stretch the chevron out, however you want to do it, just decide how you want your chevron. Put it in there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is go inside there and you're going to select that B. Okay? You're going to right click that B and we want to make that B come to the front. Make sure it's at the front because we want the B on top of the chevron. 
So then down at the bottom, you click bring to the front. So now that B is at the front of the Chevron, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna offset that B. We're gonna do an internal offset on that B. So the B selected up here beside, up at the top beside where that black A is, there's a open move screen. And that's not what we want, okay? That's not what we want. We'll, up here at the top left, we'll select object. How about that? And then we'll select, and then uh, when you select object, you'll see offset about halfway down. Click that, okay? And then over to the right, you're gonna see offset and you're gonna see offset and internal offset. We want a internal offset on that B. So you collect internal offset and you can't really see much because the lines are so close together. So we want that gap to be bigger. We want that offset to be larger. So over here, we're gonna hit the up arrow. See distance? You can move that arrow over, but it's too, it's too touchy and it's gonna be so thin that it's easier just to hit that arrow. Hit the up arrow. And we're going to change that to about right. I think that looks good right there. Okay. So now over here on your screen, just select anywhere in the dead space off the mat. Just select it. Okay. So now we have our Chevron, our offset, and our B. So now what we want to do is we want to select the original B that was there, not the offset. The original B. So you want to go up here, just go into the uh, Chevron, and then select the B, the outside of the B. Because if you select internal, that's we don't want the intern, we don't want the part that we made the internal. So you want to make sure you collect, select the outside of the B, the bigger part. Okay. So then when you select the outer part of the B, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control X. And it's going to disappear. And that's what we want. Control X, it disappears. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select the Chevron and the B together. Select it all. And then we need to hit Crop. So what we're going to do is go up here to Objects again. Modify crop and it's going to cut that out okay so now after that we've got that cropped now what we're going to do is we're going to hit control f and it's going to bring that border back in there and there's parts of this b that i don't like it's just because i didn't get the chevron lined up like there's just parts of it i don't like now what we're going to do is we're going to select it all right click and we're going to make it a compound path. And you have a Chevron letter. And you can make that big however you want to do it. So that's how you make a Chevron letter. I hope this helps. I know it's it is a confusing process. It took me a while to learn to do it. And I still every once in a while I still have to go back and read how to do it. But that's basically how you do a Chevron letter. Um, Please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have a comment, please comment below. If you have a question, please send me a comment. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can, as quick as I can, and as thoroughly as I can. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope this helps.